Friday the 15th of February. Britain adopted the decimal currency in 1971. Although the new system was theoretically easier, it took many older, older people to adjust to the new system. I would have hated to try and work out pounds, shillings and pence. Remember, Grandad could used to be able to, probably, actually, he probably still does. He's probably able to count up LSD in his head. God, I would hate that. Jason has invited me to go around his house for five days. Five days. To be away from Sophia. Oh, yes! Saturday the 16th of February. In 1940, the British destroyer HMS Cossack pursued the German supply ship Altmark into a Norwegian fjord. A boarding party seized the cargo and rescued 300 British sailors. The crews of several ships sunk by the Graf Spree. An interesting st statistic there. And it's a fact. And not based on unreliable survey. Statistic. I didn't go to bed until very late because I was packing. And uh, luckily, I did forget to bring my diary. At 12.01pm, I, after I'd said all my goodbyes, Jason and, his, and it pulled, well, pulled up in his parents' silver Mercedes. And then we arrived at his parents' giant house and garden. And I had my own room. <sighs> Looking out of the window, I saw, and I have this as a note, eight chickens, four white ducks, two black rabbits, a brown rabbit, three brown cows, six white sheep, and a very friendly house pet. A fat white billy goat christened dustbin. Or Dusty for short. He's always, he's always chewing on everything. Saturday the 17th of February. Historian Edward Gibbon published The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire in 1776. Not the kind of book you'd be reading for a laugh. If Gibbon would s was still alive today, he'd write a sequel replacing Roman with British. <coughs> Sorry! Only joking. Jason told me all about Dusty. When he was only a year old, he used to go in all weathers, following Jason's dad down to the only local pub after a five minute walk. And the pub's called the White Horse Inn, which um, it's a very posh pub, so for obvious reasons, the landlord Fred wouldn't let him in. So, if Jason's dad and Dusty are outside and Jason's dad's almost finished the glass, Dusty will meh and he will and Dusty will meh all, all just keep meh until Jason's dad finally gives in, pours the remainder of his beer into a glass ashtray and lets Dusty have it. He's four years old now. And he hasn't changed much, other than the fact that he's on a lead, and is a lot fatter than he ought to be. Monday the 18th of February. John Bowman's Pilgrim, uh, Pilgrim's Progress was published in 1678. I believe he wrote this in prison. So he must have envied the Pilgrims being able to travel everywhere. At 6.35am. Jason was knocking on my bedroom door. He wanted me to help him feed the animals. I must remember this so-called holiday. And nobody will ever see me marrying somebody like a, a farmer's daughter because they will probably inherit the same genes. Tuesday the 19th of February. William Kellogg invented cornflakes in 1946. Thank you, Mr. Kellogg. For an important development into the world of breakfasts. I decided to eat a big bowl of cornflakes to celebrate. I've just decided that I actually quite like my sister's 
To be honest, I can't wait to see them again. Wednesday the 20th of February. The Metropolitan Museum of Art was opened in 1872 in New York. For, for me, museums can either be in a great excitement or a complete bore. And I've I've gathered that the that the Met has got a ru fairly good reputation. However, I'm not going to be crossing the Atlantic just to get get there and prove it. After mucking out, I quickly put my clothes clothes into my haste and thanked my host for a nice time. Dusty managed Dusty mad and followed me out to the gate, and I mad back. Jason kept on saying what a great time we had, but he didn't invite me round for Easter, which was kind of a relief, but I will miss Dusty. Thursday the 21st of February. After his young daughter was impatient to see a photograph he took of her because she had to wait for it to be developed, Edwin Land was inspired to uh, in invent the Polaroid camera in 1947. Well, girls always seem to be impatient. But little Miss Land here did us quite a favour. Did I say I would actually miss my sisters and I wanted to see them? Well, I must have been desperate. Sophia's eight eight friends were all here and it's like being back amongst Jason's chickens again. God, if, imagine, imagine if Claudia had all her friends here too.